Peace and love, peace and love, dear friends and fellow Africans. What you see here is the ninth batch of the Evacues. Uh, it is composed of 74 uh, Eritreans, 5 Ethiopians, 4 Somalians, uh, 4 South Sudanese, uh, 45 Sudanese. And uh, among of them, 65 uh, females and 67 uh, males. So uh, this is let us congratulate President Paul Kagame and the government of Rwanda for decided to take these uh, African people from uh, from abroad who have been immigrant or who has been treated as immigrant. You know, dear friends and fellow Africans, what is better for Africans uh, to build uh, Africa or Africa to build Europe? Uh, Yes, of course, you can speak whatever you can speak about um, Paul Kagame, about this decision. Yes, we do. We cannot support everything, but what I see here, it's better for Africans to work hard for the benefit of Africa instead of working hard for the benefit of others. Of course, they are coming in Rwanda for us uh, because Rwanda has accepted to receive them. And uh, always I said, you know, Kagame is very intelligent. These people who are learning away, they, are, they have some skills. So when we take them, when they go to Europe or they go to America or somewhere else, they go with their skills. So sometimes we Africans, look what, we are talking about technology. Many of Africans who have been uh, taken during slavery trade or during slavery are those who are creating many technology in Western countries. We, we, we learn that uh, Africa build America. Africans build America. Look at the Buffalo soldiers. They fought for America, for the survival. So what's wrong for Africans to fight for Africans? So I think the decision of Kagame uh, is good and is light for me, for my, my opinion. Because uh, I have seen uh, many Af look at the for, for instance the country of uh, France in World Cup. If you look the player of France uh, national team, many of them are from West Africa. Many of them are Africans, but the France are benefiting from those because they are, some of them are, they went to seek uh, maybe green pastures. Some of them they went as immigrants. Some of them they, they are, their parents are learning from maybe a war that are fought in Africa. So sometimes these people who are going abroad, they have something, they are, they are going to hide something there. So of course uh, at the same time the, 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 when they go there they, they treat it as a cheap labor so it's better for Africa to, to learn from this that uh, it's better to work hard here in the continent for the benefit of the continent if Rwanda is benefiting it's better than to benefit uh, UK for me, for me, for myself it's better Rwanda to, to be benefited than uh, UK because Rwanda is an African country so it's better and uh, I, I'm very happy to see President Kagame has saw this and have decided to agree because you know these people uh, if you maybe uh, they will come to Rwanda they will get some place to practice their uh, their, their, their knowledge to, to practice their, their maybe activities uh, even though they would get maybe a cheap salary compared to if they were at uh, Europe, but they are going to have something in the in the country of Rwanda. They are, they are not uh, empty set. They have something in their head. They have vision. So they can build better. We are talking about America. America is built by many nations. If you go to America, you find uh, some Indians, you find uh, Africans, you find uh, uh, Jews, you find every, every every nation are in America. So that's why today you see America is a big nation. So even Rwanda, today we are talking about Rwanda. Rwanda is doing amazing, but Rwanda is benefiting from things like that. Look what the Rwanda has been uh, uh, going on hard hard time during uh, genocide of Rwanda. But today, if you are talking about the country that is going very uh, growing very fast. 
you, you cannot left Rwanda. So uh, it's better. And this is the uh, what we see here is uh, is good. And the people have accepted to come to Rwanda. So not only Rwanda. We I wish even the people in the diaspora to come in Africa, because if we build Africa, we build our future. So uh, it's better now to understand. You know, people. Of course, we can. Not everything is fine. There are some mistakes, maybe in contracts, in wherever you can see. But let us look on another, uh, a, 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 another, a, another side of the coin. So let us not look on negativity. Let us look on positive also. Africa, we are. We has been used as a cheap labor in other continents. Look today, go and read what happened to our sisters who went to the Halab nation. What happened? They are forced to do something that is not in humanity. Our brothers and sisters who are in Asian countries are just suffering. So it's better to remain here in the continent. It's better for what uh, President Kagame was decided to receive them. And this is what we, of course you see uh, uh, the people are willing to come. They will get a place to, 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 to live, to stay. Even myself, my, my dear friend, what's wrong for the African to come to, uh, to Rwanda and we accept the Afghanis to come to Uganda. What's wrong about that? Is it making sense? Uh, I think last, uh, almost six months ago, we heard that Americans as, uh, American government has uh, taken refugees from Afghanistan and put in, 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 in Uganda. So, you see, it's better for the Afghanis to come to stay in the continent of Africa than the African to stay in the continent of Africa. So, do you see that? So, Kagame is very intelligent. And I support what Kagame is just uh, doing. So, I know everything that is negative and the positive, but I'm just looking on the positive ways. And this is what we say, the united Africa. So, at the end of the day, we find that Rwanda is the heart of the united state of Africa because they have composed all people. Today South Africa was supposed to be the heart of the unity of the, Af of, of the African continent because many Africans from almost all countries are in South Africa. But due to this what we call xenophobic, people are starting to run away. We are attacking each other as Africans. And there is something maybe behind the scene what happened, why this is happening. People of South Africans, uh, they think that uh, these uh, foreigners, well, that we call foreigners, but we are not foreigners. We are Africans. No African is foreigner in Africa. So we, we think that the Africans from other side, they are coming to take their job. But that's not true. The job has been taken by those who hold the land. And that's over. And this is, a, I will talk later on this and why we think that uh, to hold the land is more important. So, but all in all, let us uh, welcoming our fellow Africans who are willing to come back to, uh, to Africa. Rwanda is uh, providing a, sp a space for you, the people who are in, who, are, who have been called immigrants and sometimes you are called a foreigner, but let us come home and come with your vision to hide something in Africa. If you hide something in Rwanda, it, you are hiding something in the continent of Africa. Thank you.